Can getting more than one vaccination at once overload my child's immune system? No, studies show that getting multiple vaccines at the same time is safe. A child's immune system is well equipped to handle the antigens, or immune triggers, contained in multiple vaccines, according to overwhelming scientific evidence. Children's immune systems are stronger than you think, they're designed to protect kids from the hundreds, even thousands, of foreign bodies they're exposed to each day in the form of fungi, parasites, bacteria, and viruses. In fact, children are exposed to more antigens in the environment every day than to those in all their vaccinations combined. And because of innovations in the way vaccines are made, today's vaccines contain far fewer antigens than those administered in the past. The research health experts have been sufficiently concerned about the safety of getting multiple vaccines to provoke extensive research and analysis. They've tested theories such as whether overloading the immune system with vaccines could weaken a child's defense against infection or trigger an autoimmune disease such as type 1 diabetes. They've also examined whether the large number of vaccines in today's recommended schedule exposes children to too many antigens at once, possibly triggering allergies or asthma. Here's a summary of just a few of the studies, National Academy of Medicine Study, 2002. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control CDC, and National Institutes of Health NIH, commissioned the National Academy of Medicine NAM, formerly known as the Institute of Medicine, to study the question of whether multiple vaccines could harm a child's immune system. The report found no evidence of a connection between multiple vaccines and increased infection or autoimmune disease. If there were, experts said, the rate of infection and diabetes in vaccinated children would be higher than in unvaccinated ones, and that doesn't appear to be the case. National Academy of Medicine Study, 2013. This involved a rigorous review of scientific findings related to the immunization schedule for children. Again, the Academy found no evidence of any safety concerns associated with getting vaccines on time, including multiple vaccines. It did find a benefit children who got vaccines according to the recommended schedule were less likely to get vaccine-preventable diseases. A University of Louisville study published in 2010 found that young children who receive multiple vaccines in the first year of life are no more likely than children who had fewer vaccines to have any developmental problems. In fact, the infants who were fully vaccinated performed better in some areas of brain development than the group with delayed immunizations. This is very reassuring news for those parents who worry about vaccines. A 2018 study in Journal of the American Medical Association, JAMA, gathered medical data on almost 1,000 children between ages 2 and 4. Researchers found that higher amounts of exposure to antigens from vaccines did not increase children's risk of getting sick from infections not targeted by the vaccines. Several studies show no connection between vaccines and allergies and asthma. These include a controlled study in the 1990s involving more than 18,000 children that found vaccinated kids do not have higher rates of asthma than unvaccinated children. For more information on vaccine safety studies, check out this comprehensive list from the American Academy of Pediatrics. The real threat. When children don't get vaccinations on time, there's a very real concern about infectious disease. A child's immature immune system isn't capable of fighting off serious and potentially fatal diseases such as measles and meningitis. That's why it's so important for your child to be vaccinated early. Weighing the very real risk of contracting one of these diseases against any possible risk from the vaccines makes it clear that the benefits of vaccinating your child far outweigh the risks.